Hello again. Um, the last couple of videos have been very uh, long and very wordy, so I thought uh, that what I would do with this video is actually put in some of the music that I'm working on for this new album <clears throat> uh, with some of the sound effects and just just a they're all sort of working models of tracks. Um, bits of pieces that are either from my mobile phone or have been re-recorded in Logic as a sort of next demo version of the song with uh, with some backing within them. Um, <clears throat> no vocals as yet, I've got some melody lines but uh, anyway that's what this video is about. Uh, I will shut up and just let the, uh, uh, the music do the talking. Um, we'll speak to you soon. get rid of the knob. One of the tracks which I just called Soulburn um, because it was one of those sort of sticky words that came in in a nonsensical lyric uh, while I was strumming the guitar. Uh, I woke up one morning and I heard some other guitars that, that could go, or a guitar that would go over the top. Very simple um, the notes. So the the guitar that I had, um, the main part that I started with was this. Yeah, so it's just a progression. Um, very, very, very simple. The, the guitar that I could, just kept on going around in my head were these, uh, I've doubled them up, um, so it's th these, stop, just that, so uh, it was great to be able to sort of 
because it was so simple I could remember it and therefore come up and hum it through, work it out on the guitar, yes so that's what I want and then quickly record it over the top of the, the chord so um, that was great and then with the whole thing um, it is very simple bass Take you back into the main, the main theme. So yeah, that, that's kind of another little, little idea that's uh, that just appeared out of nowhere. Um, these are the things that you, I can't really say where the inspiration is. They just kind of stick with you and. You know, I've mentioned earworms music where you end up singing something all day. Uh, this is something I kind of wake up with maybe because I'm thinking about the song as I'm recording it um, so often that uh, you start to layer it like a cake. You start to layer bits on top. Oh, that will go with that. That will go with this. So, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's one of the, the little ideas I woke up with that, that actually worked. Some of the things I've been doing uh, has been collecting and uh, using real natural sounds um, for, the, for this album. And something I did years ago um, was actually collect bird sounds and reverse them and make effects out of them um, or rhythms out of them. And I thought I'd resurrect that idea. It's, it's not a new idea, but uh, I, I, I wanted something that, that um, I think initially I was looking for natural bird sounds in the woods and then the music would, would uh, appear over the top of that and all the while would be like a, a sort of forest or woodland birds uh, singing in the background that would gradually sort of die back so you could barely hear it but it would still be there with the ambience of the wind and the trees. Um, I kind of scrapped that idea because um, it, it, I, I think it, was, it had the potential of getting in the way of the whole track. So I, I, what I ended up doing was getting um, some bird song, different types of birds, small birds, um, uh, f types of finches, um, uh, robins, uh, what else did I use? I can't remember now. But anyway, I've cut them up and I wanted them to be uh, tied in with the, with the rhythm of the track. So the track itself... Uh, let's see... It's... So I kind of that that's the uh, this is 123. So it, it's that it's that idea. Um, so what I've done is in, on this track, this one here, this channel. Uh, I've got lots of different little bird cheeps and calls and I've cut them in and adjusted them so that they, 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 they tie in with the rhythm of the whole thing. So um, uh, if I just loop it you can hear it. Well, 
that. Okay. Uh, so that's a nice little loop, and then we follow that in with the rest of the music. Uh, so, I'll play a little bit of that. And you can hear it, hear it build up. Um, the, the main guitar piece, actually, it's... Um, the start of this would be uh, this. Let me play this. Uh, right. So that's the main guitar piece. You can hear straight away how that will go with the with the bird song. So if we if we put in the bird song, um, it's uh, there, I think. <laughs> So um, that's how it was, it was really built up. There have been a couple of um, instances in, in particular with this album where uh, where I wanted to change the the feel of the music within within the song, make it feel um, slightly more uneasy. Lazy Summer was was um, one of them, and that's because I I already know what the song is about and I have the lyrics and I knew there was a section there that that was odd. Um, so I wanted it to feel like it was uh, things were slightly falling apart and then as you track the lyrics over the top you realize it's not such a dark thing it's actually quite a fun thing that was happening um, so it, it, it resolves itself and then becomes uh, more positive again back into the song a slightly lesser version of that was with a, uh, a track uh, that I've got called All That You Carry and um, that has if you go into you know, the chorus it's f nice and light and it's just it's just a as it is here let me play play the chorus so the chorus <laughs> stick the bass on Quite an offensive thing. If we play the whole the whole part of that, um, so the whole part of that chorus is. Again, this is just a demo track at the moment. You kind of know where it's going. You know, it's not doing anything special. Um, the, the the verse that goes into that is the 
resonator. Nice and open for the words. And then it builds up. And then that will go into the chorus we just played. So that's all, all fine and dandy, it's all, all pretty basic stuff. Um, but I go into like a, 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 I don't want to call it a mid-session because actually it's at the end uh, and it's not really a, a bridging section because it's longer. But um, I, I had something that wanted to be, wanted to change the, I wanted to change the feel of it so it becomes a little bit more pressured and there's something else going on here um, to sort of that little swingy lightness I wanted to to get rid of that and bring it back into something more serious sounding um, so I came up with a a bridging piece and then it goes into like a what I call here an outro so have a, have a listen, you'll hear the, the chords change and there's something that's slightly, not odd, but just um, a little bit less positive. So we'll play half the chorus and then it'll go straight into this section. So coming out, we'll come out of the chorus and it's fed in by some strings that are doing odd, slightly odd things. so you can straight away it's got a different feel to it and I, I'm, I've really liked that um, that, it, that it, it pulled this sort of very simple song out uh, into something else and I, I kind of do that a lot and, and it's not necessarily by design I think I sometimes I, I'm very aware of the um, chorus verse chorus verse um, type of phenomenon that, that you get sucked into and I and I I tend to like to inject uh, different pieces of, of music which may or may not be sung over that have a that have a different feel just to just to broaden the uh, the scope of the song a little bit um, as I say it's nothing clever it's it but, but I, I like it it adds that extra interest to the to the track um, so yeah, I like that. It's 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 kind of beefs up the whole thing. Um, so there you go. So yeah, the other place where I use um, this sort of slight uh, pulling apart of the song, making it feel like it's going somewhere else, uh, particularly with this this section, this little bit is is quite discordant in a way, um, and that's because I, as I mentioned before, uh, I I know where the song's going. That there's somewhere uh, in this song within the lyrics where um, it could be misconstrued as being quite dark. But actually, it, it kind of 
resolves when you listen to the rest of the lyric and it's and it is quite quite upbeat and fun but it sounds like it isn't so I wanted to reflect that in the music and, and go from something sort of happy tra -la, la to something that's a lot darker and as I say discordant so if, to show you that we come out of the chorus and then we'll go straight into this this other section uh, and and you'll hear it and then it will resolve again so this is the section. This is the second part of the chorus into this slightly discordant piece. So the vocals all the way across here, introducing us another verse. Resolves it. You've still got that Mellotron sound. And then resolve back into the chorus. So yeah, that, that ties in really nicely with uh, with the words, how the words are gonna sing over the top. Um, uh, again, it's a, a nice little little touch to just pull the music away from being um, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then out. Um, yeah, I like it anyway. the audio um, it's quite fast so what I could do is uh, take the audio put it into logic 
and then slow it down and just see see whether it gives me the right ambient sound. <laughs> 